awful. I, I didn't think it would end like this. It was such a good day. It really was. Joshua Coleman reporting from the Sacramento Capitol, uh, where freedom is officially over. I'm sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. Joshua Coleman reporting from China. A couple of you guys stood down, so the question is, are you going to stand down? In the face of tyranny, in the face of freedom, are you going to sit there in your riot gear against peaceful protesters, or are you going to say, you know what, it's time to stand up for my country? Because I took an oath of office and it said I will defend all enemies, foreign and domestic. Yeah, yeah. You know, you might lose your job. But I'd rather lose my job than lose my soul. Amen. I'd rather lose my job than lose my soul. Yes. Because what are you going to go tell your little boy or your little girl tonight? That you took a baton and you crushed somebody's skull that was a mom? Is that what a tough guy does? That's not what honor, courage, and commitment means in the Marine Corps. So the question is, do you say, you know, we always have in the military, we have what's a lawful order? And you got to check your nutsack when you're given an order and you got to say, is this a lawful order or is this a bullshit order? And when something's a bullshit order and it doesn't pass the sniff test, that's when you say sergeant, that's when you say colonel, that's when you say general, that's when you say governor, I'm not doing that. I didn't sign up for that. That's what it takes. So the question, I want, I want each and every one of you to do a gut check right now. And there's guys over there that are lieutenants, and there's political games happening right now. People are talking about people, and somebody's looking at me with binoculars right now. Right? God bless them. Right? Oh, shit, there's a sniper But what right I want there. you to get is now is the time for you to decide what side of history do you want to be on? I'm Amen. serious. Amen. Somebody's going to ask you that question. A bunch of people have video of everybody out here. It's going to be out in the media. And there will be some fake news. But there's going to be some of you that hit somebody that took Pastor Tim over there and you threw him to the ground like a piece of trash and he was just standing there. And that's going to be on your conscience. And so this isn't a Republican thing. It's not a Democratic thing, even though Governor Newsom's making it that. So President Trump doesn't get back in the White House in 2020. And we get sleepy, creepy Uncle Joe in there. Right? But what I want you to get, this is a patriotic American thing. That's what it, that's what's at stake right here. That's what we have. That's what's at stake. And so the question is, you got a steady paycheck coming in, but how many people right here, pardon my language, are getting fucked right now? How many people are getting fucked right now? And you guys are supporting that. You're endorsing that by being here today and by pushing people back with those batons. You're, you're endorsing that. You're saying, you know what? I'm okay with that. The guy up there with the creepy voice and the slick back hair that wants to give $125 billion to uh, illegal immigrants, I'm all right with, with that. I'm all right with the fact that he pulled the permits on anybody that could protest out here. We were only here an hour, and you guys were already starting to draw a line. And I get it. You guys are just doing your jobs. But your job right now is to do a gut check. Your job right now is to say, is this ethical and moral? And if it's immoral and it's unethical, you don't follow that order. It's not constitutional. I talked to my master sergeant that I haven't talked to in about 10 years yesterday. And this guy was an 0311. Okay, he did two tours in, in Desert Steel, Desert Storm. All right? And this is one of the most ethical guys that I've ever met in my life. And if he was a law enforcement officer, he wouldn't be standing up with a baton in his hand right now. He'd be standing up to the people that were telling him to stand up with a baton in his hand right now. Amen. They can all, hey, they can all call him sick at the next rally. They can all call him sick. What would it look like if you guys all called in sick the next time they try to get you to do this? the Sacramento PD. I'm texting a Sacramento police officer right now who's high in the chain and, and they're like, we're not taking anybody to arrest. We're we'll making bull yes. that. Amen. So your own comrades are telling you that something doesn't pass the sniff test. Something doesn't pass the sniff test. And gentlemen, if the Geneva Convention says that I can't kill somebody or shoot somebody with a weapon that is sticking up for their rights and their religious freedoms, I think the Constitution of the United States says the same thing.
I kind of think it says that somewhere. So I would just encourage you to think about that, as nobody up here is maintaining their social distance. That's so interesting to me, right? Nobody is. It's like fascinating right now. People are talking in the background with their mask on, but there's no social distancing going on. It's hilarious. So you have to see how ludicrous all this is. And you guys are representing and endorsing that. Every time you stand up here, every time you cast that paycheck, you're saying, you know what? I'm okay with other people getting screwed, and I'm okay with beating up children and mothers and moms and throwing a pastor on the ground. So I hope everybody thinks about the guy in the backwards hat standing up on the boat tonight. And, and if you get a heart palpitation, it's called anxiety, you can call me. Okay, I'm a doctor, I'll help you out. All right, but we're going to have to do a lot of neurological releasing on all the neurologic, all the neurological, all the neurological. Yeah, my name's Dr. Cordy Williams. Um, I practice in uh, right between San Diego and LA. I'm not really going to, I'm not going to just go that far. Uh, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Share it, like it, whatever. Video it, record it, get it out there, guys. There's President Trump and Attorney General Mark, you know this. And, and I don't know what you do, bro, but we got to get this stuff out there because I've been here all day since 2.30 a.m. I flew in from the San Diego area, and I'm embarrassed to be in this country right now. Yeah, me too. Because of the, what these guys are doing. Right. I, just, I can't believe it. Like, that's what it represents to be a tough guy. Yeah. That's what it represents to be a man. And, I mean, if I was 20 years younger and I didn't have kids, I don't know, I'd probably be going a couple of rounds of summer. Right, right. So, because this is just, it's, they're, they're in armor. Like, they're about to, like. Guys, what I want you to understand, truly leading, truly leading is always about taking the first step to stand up when morally and ethically you don't feel like something is right. Leadership is in the force of fear, in the force of uncertainty, right? There are a lot of uncertain situations. I chose to come here today because I knew I had to take a stand for liberty, right? I had to choose to take a stand. There's, there's some of your own men right now are walking back in the Capitol, right? You could totally do that. Take off your cover, go get a nice bottle of water. Go relax. A nice beer. And, and, and maybe a beer too, right? I got cigars in the van over here, right? <laughs> and and that would be a way of saying, you know what? I don't really buy into this. And maybe you go in tomorrow, you go in on Monday, and you say, you know what? This doesn't work for me anymore. Yeah. Maybe you say that. You guys could get jobs tomorrow at, at the sheriff's department, right? You get jobs anywhere. You're starting to talk to them. They're right? walking away. I'm telling you, man. We could get jobs at the sheriff's department, and if you want to work for somebody ethical, I, I think Sacramento PD is really hiring. I do. And their leadership doesn't want to beat up on women and children. I mean, that'd be the first place I'd call. Charles Mantell. Charles Mantell, he's pretty high up on the Sacramento Police Department. He's a good friend of mine. Okay, a friend of a friend. All right. Family friend. And I was just texting him a few minutes ago, and I was kind of telling him what's happening. He's like, holy shit, doc. Is, are they really doing that? Are they really taking kids, hitting women and children? And I said, yeah, I guess that's what being a tough guy's like. I don't know, not in my book. That's not what I heard in the Marine Corps. I heard that when there's an unlawful or immoral order, you have to stand up. And when you stand up and you get that feeling of anxiety in your stomach, and it's hard, that's because God's stretching you. God's got something on the other side of that, and that's called a transformation. And I don't think the police were leaving. They were switching out. It's the thing that's going to actually lead you guys to everything you want in your life. Because right now, if you're getting that feeling like this is wrong, and I shouldn't be doing this, and I'm on the wrong side of history right now, then that's when you need to stand up. And maybe somebody's going to throw me down in a second. Somebody's pointing at me. Who knows? Make sure you get the video cameras out. But I'm ready to be thrown down. That's okay. I'm okay with that. You guys want to throw me down so my little boys go home to a couple black eyes and bruises? I'm a tough guy. I won't resist. I won't resist at all. Because I'm here in peace and love. And we're going to pray for you guys tonight. We're going to pray for your families. Okay? And we're going to pray that God kind of nudges your shoulder and says, you know what? This is bullshit. And this is wrong. I know. This is wrong. Right? The fruits of the Spirit hey, in buddy. Galatians 5.32 says that joy, kindness, peace, and love are the fruits of the Spirit. And so I want you to do a gut check right now. Are you representing joy, kindness, peace, and love yeah. by standing up to Gavin Newsom's orders? Right? Because the federal government... Otto, let me see you with your sign. Okay? 
was an There's Otto. I don't know if you gentlemen saw the order that occurred. Yeah. Now we're getting six feet of distance, baby. Yeah. Woo!